Okay, here's a little video I shot at work on one of our Windows machines. I plugged in the flash drive here and you can see that it's a one terabyte flash drive. It says it's one terabyte. You can see the reading is that it's over 900 uh, gigabytes and you can see the pie chart saying the same thing. But in reality, this is a two gig flash drive that I've modified to appear as a one terabyte flash drive. So recently I've heard twice recently about uh, people selling fake flash drives on eBay and stuff saying that they're larger than they actually are and um, so I've watched videos on figuring out when you buy a flash drive whether it's the right size because you plug it in it says it's that size and you can write to it and you don't realize that it's not really that size until your files get corrupt because this is a two gig flash drive but the computer thinks it's a one gig, so it keeps writing the drive and it overwrites files that were already written on there so files get corrupted and you don't realize it till it's too late. I watched a video on YouTube recently, a guy showing how he detected whether, he bought one that he purposely bought one that he knew was a fake. It was a $50 terabyte flash drive, which you're not, at the time of filming this, you're not going to get a terabyte flash drive for anywhere near $50. So he knew it was counterfeit when he bought it. He wanted to check it out though. And he used some, he was in Windows, he, or yeah, I think he was in Windows. He used some sort of scanning software that did test writes to the drive. And it took three days for it to go through the test to discover what the real size of it was. And in the end, he basically he said that he's found software that's supposed to fix the drives, but it's freeware software from China, so he doesn't trust it. So I want to show you a quick way, uh, at least in Linux, to discover whether a drive is the size that it says it is. You know, check it quickly, instantly, find out whether it's a fake drive or not, and also show you how to fix it. And then in a future video, I'll show you how to uh, make a drive like this so you can fool your friends. So, we'll go ahead, I'm here, I'm in Linux, I'm going to plug in that same flash drive, and in a second we'll see it pop up here, right there, we'll say OK. You can see that it says that it's a one terabyte drive, that's just the label, that means nothing. Uh, but if you look in my file manager here, I threw some files on here just so that we have some data on there. You can see down at the bottom here, it says that it's 952.8 gigabytes, so roughly a terabyte. Uh, and if I go into a shell here, I can type mount and we can see all my drives that are mounted and you can see the one labeled one terabyte here that it's a VFAT format and it's uh, drive uh, SDC1. So at this point, if I was to use DF to list the file size of all partitions, you can see it right here. And if I do DF-H, it will give it in human readable format and it says that it's 953 gigs and that 1% of it's being used. I'll also show you here, I'm going to use a program called FileLite. It gives you a visual usage of all your drives and partitions. So you can see right here, this is our flash drive. It says it's the one terabyte flash drive. You can see that there's 953.4 gigabytes being used and if I click it, it will give you a little output of uh, what files are on there and how it's broken down. So. Obviously, it's reading that it's a one terabyte drive. So how do you quickly uh, detect whether it truly is or not without having to run a three-day scan like the other gentleman on Facebook did? Uh, well, if you want to go the uh, GUI route, open up Gparted, which will ask you for your password. We'll open that up and drive C. You can see right here, it's not fooled. It knows that it's 1.86 gigabytes, a two gigabyte drive. So right away, instantly in seconds, we can see. So uh, we're looking, using a program here that actually looks at more information on the, on the partitions rather than just the header of the partition, which can say anything. Uh, in, in the shell, we can do basically the same thing in the shell format. We can do um, fdisk device sdc1, or actually fdc, we'll hit enter. And of course, you got to be root or sudo, so we'll say sudo in that and type in your password. And at this point, you can just hit P to print partitions. And right here, you can see that it is a 1.9 uh, gigabyte drive. It, it is not fooled by the fake um, header that I put on there. So I can quit out of that. And if you want to simply fix this, all you have to do is wipe out that partition and reformat it. So 
Uh, you can use that, you can do that in Gparted, which I closed uh, fairly simply. And if you want to use fdisk again, uh, same command as before, fdisk, sudo fdisk, or as root fdisk, and the drive, not the partition, but the actual drive, so no number at the end there. Hit enter, and I'm going to say, now again, this is going to erase all data on the drive, but you'll say uh, D for delete, one partition deleted. I'll say new partition, primary partition, hit enter for the defaults on these things. I'll hit T for type, because by default, it's going to go for a Linux X, uh, EXT format, uh, but with a flash drive, probably want to use a, a VFAT format uh, just so that you can plug it into Windows machines and it will work and uh, other reasons as well. But uh, here, so I hit T for type and I'm going to hit L uh, to list all different types and we're going to go for a Windows 95 uh, 32. I'm going to just go with the B there. So I'll just hit B, hit enter and then W to write. Um, so reading partition table failed, device Oh, you got to unmount the drive first. So sudo umount device sdc1, and we might have a problem there. Oh, doing that. Okay, no, that worked. So yeah, unmount the drive first, f disk, and I'll go through all this one time, real quick here again. Delete that partition, n for new, p for primary, hit enter a few times, t for type, b for v32 fat. And we'll hit W for write, and it's been written. So yeah, make sure it's unmounted. Uh, if you're in Gparted, I think it will automatically ask you or automatically unmount it for you, or at least suggest that. And at this point, uh, we've reset the partitions. We still need to format that partition. So we will say um, sudo mkfs.vfat. So we're making a file system vfat device SDC one. And again, SDC, that's this particular drive. You have to use the drive uh, that you're trying to format. So make sure you're doing it to the right partition, the right format, or the right partition, the right drive. We'll hit enter on that, shouldn't take too long. And at this point, I will go back to my file manager here. And you can see it erased the label that I had created and it just says two gigabyte volume. And if I click on it, down here you can see 1.9 and again if I open up file light you can see it says 1.9 gigabyte drive zero is being used so that's how you can quickly figure out whether you have a counterfeit drive also it's not a bad idea if you buy any type of drive on some place like eBay you probably want to format it anyway because who knows what's what's on there you know that you're not seeing that's hidden um, so yeah so G parted or F disk uh, just to see the size of the partition. So again, F disk, the drive, and P shows you the partitions. And right there, you can see the real size of the drive, not the fake identifier I gave in the header there. And again, uh, next week sometime, I'll show you how to fake it, you know, and make a one terabyte or a one or two gig drive, whatever size drive, look like any size you want. So I hope you found this as a fun story. I hope you find that useful. If you do have any flash drives you're questioning uh, the validity of that uh, you can find out for real what size that drive is. Thanks for watching. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There should be a link in the description. If you liked this video, be sure to like it, subscribe, share, and comment. All those things help me greatly. And as always, I hope that you have a great day. chance to write that 200 and some odd megabyte to that uh, drive uh, and basically this is going to put a header at the beginning of that partition that's going to tell our operating system that the drive is something other than it is as far as size.